Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to teach you how to make a fringe, which is another 3D paper technique. Here is an example of a fringe. What you're going to need to do is to take a piece of paper and your scissors, and you're going to cut straight lines toward the end of your paper, but not all the way through. It doesn't matter really what kind of size you'd like them to be. What you can do afterwards, here you have your, your paper. What you can do as a technique is to take your fringe and to roll it with a pencil to get a curl. So you just take the piece of paper and roll it towards the end with a pencil. Just wrap the pencil with the paper. And there you have a curl. Now that, in order to stick it to the base of your sculpture, you need to make a crease or a fold in which you'll put glue down on this fold and stick it up like this on your sculpture. Now another technique you can do with fringe is to make an accordion pleat. In which case you take one of the strips and you just go back and forth in an accordion fold in order to get some pleats. And then once again, in order to attach it to your sculpture, you want to make a crease and put glue on this side of your paper to have your fringe point upward. So that is how you can, uh, you can make your 3D paper sculpture fringing.